वेलकम टू प्रोग्रामिंग नॉलेज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ आवर डेली टास्क मैनेजर सो अंटिल द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव क्रिएटेड द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड द यू आई ऑफ द बॉटम शीट सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू डू इज एड अ टेक्सट कंट्रोलर टू दिस टेक्सट फील्ड एंड एड फंक्शनैलिटीज टू दिस बटन so for that uh, i'll need to initialize the text editing controller inside init state and then dispose it in the dispose method and all those methods are available only in stateful widget so i'll change this stateless widget to a stateful widget now i'll declare the controller so let's call it task controller now over here let's override the init state now over here we'll write uh, task controller is equal to text editing controller and now we also need to override the dispose method and in the dispose method everything goes uh, before this uh, super statement as we have discussed in one of the previous videos so over here we'll simply write a task controller dot dispose now once this is done let's attach this uh, text editing controller to our text field okay so for that we need to look for the text field over here we'll add the named parameter controller and that is our task controller okay so now this controller is added now let's add functionality to this reset button so over here it simply says print reset now instead of this i'll write uh, task controller dot text and then overwrite it to an empty string okay so now this should reset the text field text field yes so let's save this and do it a full restart so that the init state uh, also gets executed so now once it has restarted if i click on this plus button i am able to see the bottom sheet now if i write something any scramble text and click on reset the text is getting overrided with an empty string as we have done over here okay so this button's functionality is done now let's talk about adding the task so to add the task we first need to store the task now generally there are two methods to store the task first one is using database and we have sql lite as the database and the second method is using shared preferences so now in this app the data will change every day means the task for one day is written and then at the by the end of the day the task gets over okay so for that we don't need to go in that in the complex uh, sql systems we can simply use the shared preferences the memory of shared preference the shared preference is stored inside the app so ultimately the size of app will become large if we use a shared preference to store everything when the data to be stored is too big and in those cases we use sql lite but over here since the data will only retain remain for a day and the next day it will be cleared or some other data will be added so it is completely safe to use uh, shared preferences over here so for that we have a plugin shared preferences it is given by flutter so let's imp import it and then use it in our project so in our pubspec.yml below google fonts i'll paste it save it and then wait for the pub get to finish so once the pub get has finished we can start using this shared preferences inside our project so 
for that first we need to import the shared preferences so simply over here i'll write import i'm sorry shared preferences and you can see it is not showing in the option so that means there was some error in this pubget we should call it again most probably then the error will not be there this sometimes happens with VS code. Uh, once done, let's see if it comes now or not. Import shared preferences. So we can sh see shared preferences dot dot. Now let's see how to use this. So for that first thing you can see is we need to initialize the shared preference so over here they have initialized using async await if you don't want to use async await we can always use then method okay so let's see now whenever this add is pressed uh, I'll call a method uh, that is save data okay now let's create this save data okay so uh, in all the override statements are together all the override methods are together i'll create this method which is not overriding any method above them so over here void save data and then first we need to initialize the shared preferences so shared preferences i'll call it prefs now since we use await we need to use a sync over here await shared preferences i'm sorry not this over here also it will be shared preferences and over here also shared preferences and dot get instance so now once this statement is executed we have our instance of shared preferences in this variable so now let's uh, save the data so for uh, saving let's uh, the most uh, probable or the most uh, standard practice would be to create a model class uh, and then save the object as a json as json in this uh, shared preferences and then retrieve it from as json and then parse it to the model and then display so we'll follow the same thing